In today's lesson on math, we will discuss how to add and subtract time. Time tells you what part of the day it is. Time is told in hours and minutes with a clock. There are 24 hours in a day. There are 60 minutes in an hour. And there are 60 seconds in a minute. A day is also split into two 12-hour periods. When you are telling someone what time it is in the morning, the time ends in a.m. When you are telling someone what time it is in the afternoon or night, it ends in p.m. An analog clock has a short hour hand and a long minute hand that rotate all day and point to numbers. These numbers tell you the time. Time is important because it helps people make plans. To do this, they often have to add and subtract time. Because there are only 60 minutes in an hour and only 12 hours in each half of the day, this is different than normal addition and subtraction. To illustrate this, let's go over some examples of how to add and subtract time. Let's add 3 hours and 38 minutes to 1140. First, let's start by showing 1140. The hour hand should be between 11 and 12, and the minute hand should be on the 8. This is because the 12 represents the top of the hour, and every number past 12 represents 5 minutes. So the 8 represents 40 minutes past the top of the hour. So this clock is showing 1140. The first step is to add 38 minutes to 40 minutes. This gives you 78 minutes. Remember, there are only 60 minutes in an hour. When you subtract 60 minutes from 78, you get 18 minutes remaining. Next, add that one hour to 11 to get 12. Don't forget that the clock starts over now. So adding three more hours takes you to three. So the new time would be 318. That would look like this. Now let's subtract time. Let's subtract six hours and 30 minutes from 115. Start by showing 115. The hour hand should be just past the 1, and the minute hand should be on the 3. From there, move the hour hand back 6 hours. That takes you to 7. Now move the minute hand back 30 minutes from 15. 15 minutes back takes you to 7 on the dot, and 15 more minutes takes you to 7.45. So the new time is 7.45. That should look like this. Another way to work with time is to find out how much time has passed between two points. Let's say it is 1 o'clock and you got to school at 8 o'clock. How much time has passed? Well, if you start at 8 and move the hour hand forward, you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours have passed. And if school lets out at 3.15, how much time is left in the school day if it is 1 p.m.? Once again, start at 1 and move forward. This will show that 3.15 is 2 hours and 15 minutes away. So, in summary, time tells you what part of the day it is. And people make plans based on the time. To find out what time it will be several hours and minutes in the future, you can add the number of hours to the current hour and the number of minutes to the current minute. To find out what time it was a few hours and minutes ago, simply subtract from the current time. However, remember that there are 12 hours in each half of the day and 60 minutes in each hour to avoid mistakes. And to find out how much time has passed, start at the earlier time and count forward. Sometimes learning new things can be hard. Remember that you can watch this video whenever you need to. For more information on this topic, contact your teacher.